Well, good morning, geocaching fans. Falconer Swarlow is once again in front of and behind the camera. What am I up to today? Well, I'm about to tell you. So, my geo buddy, my geo bro, uh, Kobe Makino, had published an adventure cache and he did so in the Woodenville area and in fact it's right down the road from where I work at good old Costco at the Brightwater Center. I thought I'd check it out since it was a bright sunny day. No one's around. Let's give it a try. All right. Now I have a confession to make. I usually shy away from multi-caches and adventure lab caches. The reason being is that when I'm with my sister and generally on my own, Waypoint 1 seems to elude me. Yep, that starting point, that critical starting point, where it kind of launches you into the rest of the adventure. If you can't get the first one done, why even continue? Well, guess what? I just got the first one done, and I'm ready and fired up to do the next nine. Here we go. All right, folks, I have another confession to make. I assumed since it was my good buddy Komakino that put together this adventure lab that it was going to be pretty stout and accurate, and he doesn't disappoint. I feel a white snake song coming on. Here I go again on my own, going down the only road I've ever known. I promise you, I won't uh, serenade you for the rest of the trip. Alright, so the answer to the next question is out there and it's snow covered. And this guy is going to make a valiant attempt on uh, seeing if I can ball up a snowball and uncover my answer that I need. Well, I can't believe it. It actually worked. I'm sure with the passer buyers on uh, Highway 9 were wondering what this foolish man is doing chucking snowballs into the pond, but it worked. I got through it. I'll show you what I got. I didn't want to do any spoilers, so I'm not going to zoom in, but I was able to uncover it enough to get the answer right. Not going to lie, folks. I pretty much thought that was going to be the end of my adventure cache day, but guess what? I forge on. I think it's number four is coming up. All right, the adventure continues. Thank goodness that I'm wearing this super hot geocaching outfit of galoshes and a rainproof jacket. All right, fellow geocachers, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm not halfway done, but I may have gotten through that one obstacle that I knew, I knew damn well I was going to bump into. Wish me luck. All right, fellow geocachers, many of you don't know this about me, but I did spend about 20 years in the travel business. One of the things that I like to quip about is that I've been anywhere and everywhere between the penthouse and the outhouse. Sure enough, here is an outhouse for me to go to. All right, eight is enough. Well, eight is enough for the TV show that people watched. Uh, I got eight out of 10 done, gotta keep on digging. Uh, pardon me, sir, but I I do believe you're you're missing this. That's better. Well, hot damn, I was able to complete a adventure lab cache the first time around. No hints, no resources, no nada, so I am digging it. Komokino, thank you so much for putting this together. I can see why they gave this to you. More for me later, deuces for now.